Hi guys, it's Claire here. Welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to make some encapsulated realistic flowers. So I'm coming in with peach bell cover and I'm just doing a blend from the cuticle area downwards. You want to leave the end um, clear just so it gives it a nice effect when it's all done. Don't worry about the blend too much because we are going to come in with the flowers and cover that up. So using honey and lemon drizzle, just place a bead on and using either a cocktail stick or a stabby tool, I'm using my metal one, just going in and jabbing that and making it all rough. As you can see it's quite thin you want to work thinly because you are encapsulating so if you encapsulate with big beads you when you file you that is going to come through and then coming in with snowdrops white just going to put a bead on it and drag it down to create a petal like shape Remember, no petals are the same. When you look at a normal flower, they are all different shapes, sizes. So that's the kind of effect I was going for because I don't want it to be like your normal 3D flowers. I wanted to try and make something that was a bit more realistic. Pop your bead on. Drag it to the um, middle part and then just pow. Overlapping some. Just adding some little pearls here. When you put in beads on top of already made 3D petals. When you pick up your bead, drain the back of your brush because if you don't then it, that bead that you put on is going to bleed all over them petals that you've already created and then it's going to be hard work. So if you just pick up your bead, dab it on your tissue and then place it on it'll work perfect and you won't get no bleeding and you won't have to keep chasing it. So here I'm just doing exactly the same. So then once you've finished your flowers, coming in with some melon and some petit pois. I hate saying that word out loud because I can never pronounce it properly. Um, just coming in and making some long stringy leaves. They don't need to be perfect. Because once you encapsulate, you kind of lose quite a lot of the 3D dimension going on. And then another one. Remember, try and keep your work as flat as possible because you don't want to, to encapsulate and then for when you file it, to file inside of that design. So the flatter, the better. And then one more leaf. 
could go crazy and put leaves all over the place. And then I'm going to come in with some small beads of glass slippers and some caviar beads just to finish the look off and give it a little bit of bling. so come in with small beads of glass slippers keep pressing that glass slippers into your design because if you don't then you're going to end up with air bubbles so once you've filed your nail come in with Clear Bells non wipe top coat, and I like to always go underneath the nail if I'm doing a clear nail, so it makes it even more shinier. So, to finish this nail off, we're gonna give it a little tiny ladybug. I won't say butterfly then. So, coming in with wifey, gonna create a little round bead. Pushing in all around the side just to create the roundness of your ladybird. Then a small little piece of carbon black. Create his head. And then really you could just use some black gel polish and paint his spots on but me being me I tried to do it with some acrylic spots which it probably would look better with gloss, uh, gel polish so I'd advise that so and then I'm just putting on his little white bits and then that's it the design is done I hope you all enjoyed my little tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch everybody else's videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.